What's going on guys and welcome to update number four of the historic 1 million card collection find. I want to start this video by saying thank you because we just hit 1000 subscribers which is absolutely insane especially because we hit it so fast. Thank you guys for the support by subscribing, liking, commenting, hitting the notification bell, sharing the video, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Thank you for all the support and let's get into it. All right, so I wanted to start the video in the storage unit because I came across some uh, pretty awesome stuff in here. As you can see, everything is still pretty crazily a mess and uh, so much stuff to still go through. But uh, I wanted to start with this. This was pretty cool. Just came across it, a Emmett Smith commemorative cup uh, mug for when he eclipsed 16,727 yards check this out it's really nice get the art on that it's a beautiful beautiful cup came across that i've seen a lot of dallas cowboy fans in the comments here we go we have an old school Beckett basketball card magazine with Mr. Michael Jordan on the cover. I thought that was really cool. Just like has like a really vintage vintage feel to it. Got Patrick Ewing on the back. Look at that. Look how young they are. Wow. Then I found this, which I thought was really cool. It's like a very like vintage, like from when I was a kid. Uh, little Prince of Shaq is back. Look right there, he's blocking Jordan. There's a few of those in there. This is really cool because I'm my dad used to have these uh, when I was a kid. These little vintage bobbleheads. Here's a Buffalo Bills. That's Jim Kelly, number 12. Uh, these are how they originally looked. You know, and it's really solid. Very, very cool. Right here is a commemorative limited edition Monday Night Football on ABC 1986 Collector's Cub. And on the back, it has the schedule. Look at that. Very, very cool. There's a couple of things that I just came across. And if we come over here... The other day I showed a little bit about um, what was in some of the boxes and um, a couple of boxes were filled with Sports Illustrated magazines and I just kind of sifted through it really quick uh, and like there's magazines like this in there. So very cool vintage collectible Michael Jordan Sports Illustrated magazines. Over here we have, I think I told you about this, this is a Ricky Waters signed football. The, the box isn't in such great shape, but obviously I'm going to take it out of the box. But that's pretty cool. And I think my favorite thing that I found in this little search in here was this. Look at that. Man, that's awesome. I'm going to get that framed. Taking the World by Storm. Classic poster of Shaquille O'Neal in his college jersey very very cool he's dunking the planet very cool and if anybody hasn't watched the previous videos just uh seven eight feet high stacks of hundreds and thousands of cards in here because i've took hundreds of thousands of cards home but uh yeah so i just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a uh flip around let's look let's look what's in here let's look what's in here i know i didn't go through this box here Let's see what we have. Some uh, baseball sticker album, album stickers, 30. There's a bunch of those. Uh, let's see what this is. 75 year retrospect for the Raiders. Oh, there's another one of those hollow jams. <laughs> I have so many of them. Got some packs of cards. Oh, lights went out. 
sorry about that the uh storage unit it has an automatic light so if you're not walking in the hallway the lights go off because it doesn't think anybody's in here but uh yeah lights went out on us but uh here like i was saying here are harry potter cards some powerpuff girl cards uh got some small upper deck 91 some star trek uh some more random packs anastasia uh, i know people have been asking me about non-sports i got some more non-sports at home here's uh just a stack of pages here let's see what else we got in here some oversized cards the jumbo cards what is this jeff treadway superstar collectible plaque danny jackson these are all really super old these are old uh mini cards just a bunch of mini cards more mini cards these little albums that they had back in the day a ton of these plaques there's a bunch of them here oh man look at this Dragon Ball Z. Chewy. There's a lot. Look at oh look at this. Pokemon stickers. Dragon Ball Z. Pokemon stickers. More Pokemon. More Pokemon. Collect the books. Wow. There's a ton of stuff in here. Now there's a bunch of cards on the bottom. Looks like oh man, looks like vintage. Definitely vintage. Is that signed? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if those are if those come like that. Let's see. There's a bunch more here. Oh, maybe not. Uh, wow. It's all vintage down there. Holy smokes! I might have to bring this home. All right. Well, yeah. You never know what you're gonna find. Uh, just about every time I come in here, it's kind of like that. All right. Well. Let's cut to the house where I'll show you some of the cards. All right, we are back at the house and I'm gonna show you some of what I found that is uh, pretty interesting. So let's start off with the big one. I found this original Pokemon Fossil sealed pack. Now this isn't an English pack. It's a Spanish pack, but I checked out the value of the pack, and it is a $150 pack of cards. That is a Pokemon Fossil. You can see the the uh, different name there. Then I also found, these are pretty interesting. I remember these from when I was a kid. The Poke Gum contains one puzzle card on the inside. I looked up the value of these. And they were going for like $15, $20 each. All different. Kind of like packs of cards, but pokey gum. And then I found these. So it's quite a few Pokemon stuff. Here is uh, two action flips. Collect them all. I guess they're like little, uh, little cards in there that you can flip through. And then I got a few of those. I got three, one, two, three, four of those. Okay. The big one being the pack. And then I know some people are into the non-sports and just like the oddball things. Like for me, I'm, I'm into the randomness. But I came across some of these packs that were still sealed. There's a 95 Fleer Ultra X-Men. Some uh, 91 PGA Tour. Oh. We have some... Power Rangers Series 2. There's another one. Then we have some USA World Cup. What year is this? Uh, 1993 Upper Deck USA World Cup soccer cards. Quite a few packs of those. And we have the Flintstones. Wishbone collector cards. A bunch of Andy Griffith bunch of those and a pro set so there is uh, some randomness the big one being the pokemon fossil pack then if we flip over here 
I found these two really cool albums uh, with some interesting cards on the inside. Some star players. There's Daryl Strawberry. Couple of pages of Strawberry. Then it switches over to Sammy Sosa. Then Robin Yount. Ozzy Smith. Ricky Henderson. Jim Rice. Omar Vizquel. Maglio Ordonez. Juan Gonzalez. Kirby Puckett. Quite a few Kirby Puckett, huh? Look at that. Hooey. We got Bo Jackson. I know a lot of people are fans of Bo Jackson. And this is just a random binder that I came across. And then next up we got Robin Ventura. Gary Sheffield. We got Mark McGuire. Wow, look at all those. So cool when you see the same card all next to each other when there's multiple of them. You know, sometimes it's hard to find one of them and then you have like 10 of them next to each other. Ton of Mark McGuire's. Oh, look at this. McGuire just keeps going. Here's some newer ones. Roger Clemens, look at that. It's Roger Clemens for days. Look at that. A whole lot of, oh, look at this. Wow. And I actually think the album ends on Roger Clemens. Okay, so it was that album. Let me get this out of the way. And then I found this album as well. With uh, some more Griffies. I had Griffies in the last video. Somewhere there. Roberto Clemente. Barry Larkin. Eric Davis. Paul O'Neill. Cecil Fielder. Bobby Bonilla. Roberto Alomar. Sandy Alomar Jr. And that's it. So there's a little bit of what I found in some of the albums. Now, let's cut to some vintage. Alright, here we go. Here is some vintage baseball. Very cool. It's the binder page that was in that box. Um, let's, uh, let's start off with the football. Alright, so here we go. Some of the football I came across. Since the last video, I've come across more baseball than anything when it comes to vintage. It would be baseball, would be number one, then football. And believe it or not, found some vintage hockey, which I'll show you guys next. Oh, very cool. Then 
Here is some vintage hockey. Crazy. Would love to find some more hockey. There's the hockey, and then here's some of the baseball. It's always good to have like a nice mix of what you find, you know? Like, if you're always finding the same kind of stuff, eh, it gets a little bit tedious, but you know, there's a great mix of cards in here. Um, you know, the 2000s, 90s, 80s, 70s, 60s, 50s, like crazy, crazy, crazy variety of cards in here. You know, vintage just is like pieces of history, you know, that have lasted. And this is all vintage here. It just goes on and on. Which is not a bad thing. That box, I haven't even looked through the entire box that I found in the storage unit earlier. But there's some vintage. Now let's get into some of the big cards that I found. All right, here we go. Here are some of the big cards that I found in this last go around searching through the collection. So let's start up here. Got a Future Shock Shaquille O'Neal. And what I thought was really cool, a Chris Webber rookie card tops gold. Up here we have the Mr. Joe Montana. Beautiful card. Then another Joe. Joe Theismann. Archie Manning, Peyton and Eli's father. There's another Archie. Another Archie. There's a Jack Lambert. Another Jack Lambert. And last, a Roger Staubach. Moving over here. It's a really cool card. Still has the protective film on it. Emmett Smith Prominent Figures. Underneath, we have a Stat Smasher Wild Card Emmett Smith. And some of my favorite cards from when I was a kid. The Metal Universe Emmett Smith. Come down here. We got ourselves a Bowman Chrome rookie Ichiro Suzuki. Underneath we have a Ken Griffey Jr. Tops Gold. I thought this was really cool. I found a Babe Ruth Black Diamond. Anything Babe Ruth is awesome. Here is a Techno Ken Griffey Jr. Here is a Topps Mark McGuire, really cool. And underneath is another Mark McGuire, Ionix Hyper. Moving over to second year Peyton Manning. This is the Power FX Ionix 1999. Underneath is another 1999 Peyton Manning. Sensations Top Finest. Then we have some of these really cool cards. These are the uh, the Marvel Metal Universe cards. There's Cordell Stewart with Wolverine in the back. Here is Steve McNair with Captain America. Underneath there we have the Metal Universe Deion Sanders. And then we have the Metal Universe Jerry Rice. Then we have a really cool one. There's a Jerome Bettis Super Chrome Wild Card Rookie Card. And underneath is a Tony Gonzalez Rookie Card. Bowman Best. Now moving over to some older cards here. We got a Joe Morgan. 
Fergie Jenkins. Johnny Bench. Brooks Robinson. And last but not least, a amazing Greg Maddox rated rookie card. So there are the big cards that I found in this go around. But I wanted to leave the video off on this. I am currently looking to buy another collection. I found one. I'm going to see it tomorrow. Uh, we're going to try to work out a deal. And possibly the next video after this one will be of a new collection uh, that I go pick up, hopefully. And uh, then we will go back and do some more of the updates for the 1 million card collection. But we may have a new collection coming in the next video so stay tuned thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay updated with the videos hit the the bell button make sure to give the video a thumbs up comment anything that you have to say about the video i really look forward to hearing from you guys thank you guys for watching again and i'll catch you in the next one